What is going on guys, Kittymon here, back at it again with some Outer Wilds. Um, today we're going to figure out the interloper, because I want to say for the base game that actually might be all we have left. Um, we sort of figured out last time, um the ash twin scenario with the um ash twin project right that's what it's called i think yeah so we figured this thing out which honestly i think is crazy okay um a hollowed out chamber inside of Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with no my masks attached. Three of the masks are active are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giants Deep and Timber Hearth, respectively. What is the last one? I don't know. I'm thinking it might be oh wait 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 oh man okay so what if the interloper because there was two people that went down inside the interloper and they just like lost contact with them what if it's one of their modules that are still open my other thought was it could possibly be the Nomai that's on the Quantum Moon. However, he's like dead, but not really. He's like semi alive. I still don't know how that works. I'm guessing it's because of the quantum like mechanics. Because if he died on the Quantum Moon and the Quantum Moon's moving around and everything and like I don't know, he's like dead and alive in some scenarios. It's kind of like a Schrodinger's cat, maybe. I don't know. Um, the Ash Twin project was designed to use the energy from the supernova triggered by the sun station to send probe data from the orbital probe cannon 22 minutes into the past. The sun station did not work, although the Ash Twin project was still theoretically sound. The Nomai were unable to power it. There is an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. Thus, I'm assuming ending the game. And I don't really want to end the game. Because we still have the DLC and figuring out this thing. I'm actually really looking forward to the DLC. Because I heard there's like... I'm a little nervous actually, because at the very beginning there was a disabling frights feature, or like a reduced frights feature, so I'm guessing it might have something with like scary bits in it. And if it's anything like Dark Bramble, I think I can handle it, but like I'm still not a fan. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, right now, we're gonna go to the interloper, wherever that dude may be. I say dude, it's a planet. Uh, let's go to... Where were you? Uh, Brittle Hollow, and then fly into the black hole. That way it sends us to the other side. And we'll fly to the, the, the interloper, because why not? Adjusting flight trajectory, accelerating towards destination. Ugh, I don't know. Although the um the auto flying feature is helpful, part of me also feels like it might take away from the whole flying experience. It definitely makes it easier, but I also feel like a good portion of this game is being able to fly properly I guess how do I disable it how do I disable it there we go autopilot aborted so yeah there was a tip I got from Draco in the last video and he had suggested 
um, something about it orbiting the sun. So I know when it goes past the sun, the ice melts a little bit, because you can hear the cracking and everything. But I feel like that also might have been hinting at something meaning we should go here before the sun starts, or before it flies past the sun. I'm not sure why that might be the case. But I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I also wanted to... I'll grab my... whatchamacallit. We're gonna grab the, the, the ship real quick. And then go like this, take a picture of it. Because they're talking about energy readings, and we know ghost matter is a form of like heat energy. Because when you talk to the kids standing next to... When, when you talk to the kid next to the ghost matter on timber hearth he like one of the dialogues is talking about what i'm thinking we're going past the sun right now i'm just gonna do one of these hover next to it cool so it freezes back over because you know space is cold oh man ghost matter detected I'm receiving much strain much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it whatever it is must lie somewhere below closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Hey, Clear Clary, can you hear us? Clary, yes. But your voices are faint. I fear we may lose communication entirely if you continue if you if you continue any deeper. Poke. Keep the shuttle warm for us. Clary will return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. Clary, I understand, but be cautious, both of you. So we got air. We we got we got two path three three different paths to go down. This one's the biggest. Oh, four different paths. Okay. Um, I'm thinking let's go down this one. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's try let's try this one. Huh. 
I think there's ghost matter down there. We just stuck? No. It'd help if I had my flashlight on. Lama. Okay, this is this is cool. Definitely the cuz I was always like wondering why we had a second camera feature. Oh man. <laughs> Dude, this is actually really fun. So yeah, the second camera feature was probably specifically for this because there's no way we would have been able to uh do this with the the probe that's really cool and definitely thanks for the uh the the tip on that so there's one of them Oh, we're, we're in, like, low gravity now. And these are all the different entrances, I'm assuming, that are covered with ghost matter. Whoa. Dang. A spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings no no rather the source is what's within the stone i'm detecting some form of exotic matter the stone is mutter is muting our energy readings they should be 10 times than 10 times what we're seeing at least hey i don't think we want this matter interacting with us as far as i can tell directing direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal hey i've never encountered anything like this casing but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside worse still the matter is disturbingly volatile vol yeah volatile Poke. Hey, whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at the density scan. I've never seen anything that's slightly... Oh, I've never seen anything this tightly compact before. What is it? Hey, this is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagine. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanking, blanketing this star system almost in, instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Hey, return to the shuttle right now. The rest of the, our friends need to know they're in trouble, in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pei? Hey, the more we know about the, this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, poke. So, I mean, this thing already, I mean, it looks like this thing already broke, yeah?
Dang. So... <laughs> A little out of map glitches. Hmm. So, pretty much... This is what brought ghost matter into this star system, basically. Is that what I'm kind of gathering? I think that's... I, I think that's right, yeah. See if we can actually get out of here. I don't think we can, because the, the entrance kind of froze over. Sound about right. Bang, I'm dead. Or not. Not yet, at least. came from this way. Ghost matter there. I think we came from up here, yeah? Yeah. And that's all frozen over. We're just stuck down here, basically. Until this thing flies into the sun, I mean. What would happen if... I mean, I'm assuming we just instantly die <laughs> when, once this thing flies into the sun. But... This is definitely the way down. Is this thing past the sun twice before going in? I think it does. I guess I never noticed that. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. We're just going to meditate, though. And then, um... Go see what is in the ship logs, and I guess go from there. I guess we can actually start on the DLC at some point. for 20 minutes now I think and we're gonna yeah see what is in here and then go back to the um actually don't have okay so the map actually is attached to the thing I guess uh the suit that's kind of cool Okay, ruptured core. I found the two missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew near the large ruptured, near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. The Nomai traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some form of exotic matter. They 
determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would ru rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. However, they both didn't make it out. I don't know why... Was it Pei that ran? Because Poke stayed back. Uh, they were right above that crack just before that area. So I wonder... How... How did they... I mean, I'm guessing they probably got stuck inside like I did, and then Pei was trying to, like, go back to poke. Maybe? I don't... I don't know. Either way, that's kind of crazy. So, we only talked to... The, the one dude on... He's like the only semi-alive Nomai, basically. From... Like, in this star system, I mean. There's still probably... There's the UFO again. I still don't know what to do with this thing. Like, is it just like an Easter egg? I think it is, but like... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um... What was I talking about again? I don't know. Either way, we're gonna head over to the... This thing.